Welcome back to my garage. Today I'm uh, going to make a spacer. But first, I want to send a, a big thank you to uh, Alex from uh, Two Stroke Stuffing. Thank you. He's been sending a lot of people to my channel and I, uh, I appreciate it a lot. Thank you. If you haven't seen his channel yet, go check it out. He has a lot of cool projects, a lot of uh, very informative uh, videos for uh, two, two Stroke Tuners. Highly recommend it. Oh, and welcome to all the new subscribers. Hi. I, uh, I want to give a little bit of background info on this, uh, this project I'm working on. I imagine that, uh, there's a couple of things you might be wondering about. As you can tell from the title, this is a, a big bore and a stroker engine. It's uh, a Rotex 277. Originally it's uh, 268 cc's. I am stroke the crank. 4 millimeters from 66 to 70 millimeter and I poured the cylinder from uh, 72 to uh, 78 millimeters. This is a stock piston in the, the new cylinder. You can see it's uh, a lot bigger. So now the new displacement is uh, 335 cc's. It's a 25% of the increase and uh, should give me a nice horsepower gain, hopefully. I'm sure a lot of people are wondering what this uh, engine is for. It's a snowmobile engine. I do uh, vintage snowmobile racing. You can see in the background uh, over there. It's a 69. Skidoo Olympic, which is not the original engine um, for that uh, chassis, but uh, the rules allow up to 1985 for both the chassis and the engine, and the uh, engine doesn't have to match the chassis, so this is about uh, as good a starting point as it gets for uh, that time period. We are actually allowed to use uh, dirt bike cylinders and everything, as long as the the bottom end is uh, from the snowmobile engine, but uh, I thought it would be a nice challenge to see how far I can take it with, uh, with the snowmobile engine and cylinder. So that's how this uh, idea got born. In stock form, it has 26 horsepower or 28 if you remove the fan. It's a fan cooled engine. I'm hoping for at least 70 horsepower. I'm a little bit disappointed if I don't make that. Ah, uh, maybe not disappointed, but if I, if I have less than 60, then I will be really disappointed. But I'm hoping for 70 plus at least. I hope that was enough background for now. Uh, if you have any questions or uh, you're wondering about something, then uh, feel free to ask. I don't bite. So, uh, let's get back to this uh, spacer. I'm going to start out by uh, Cutting a piece of metal here, like that, and uh, put the, the hole for the sleeve in, big hole here, so it's going to be a, a somewhat tight fit around the sleeve. So, uh, band cell time. Find uh, approximately the center of this thing, so I need to do that now. That's 47 between this and this line, so that means I need to have 23 and a half. Yes. To put a little, uh, little hole in there and then uh, mount it. On the legs. I love lamp. I love lamp.
see if this fits. Perfect, very nice fit. Apparently I forgot to, to turn my camera on when I uh, drilled these holes in the mill, but uh, what I did was I located the center of the hole and then I just entered the bolt pattern in my uh, digital readout and drilled a couple of holes. So let's see if this fits. The bolt pattern matches. So So there we go. Now I have my uh, my lines. Going with uh, with the large rough end mill again. Because that uh, worked out so great last time. So that went nice and quick. Need to finish it uh, by hand, of course, but saved me a lot of uh, manual grinding. Let's go solve this stuff. So let's see if it fits. It does. I'm going to need a little bit of uh, match porting there. Now I just need to port uh, this little bit here, the spacer that's sticking out into the uh, intake. And to hold it on to the cylinder. You can see there how it's uh, sticking out a bit. Should be quick. There we go, that works. So what's remaining now is uh, Cut the, the lower transfers like that out of the sleeve. I'm going to keep a little bit more on the intake side for safety's sake. Stop manually. That came out pretty good, nice and smooth. No knife etching, don't do it.
think that looks uh, nice enough for now. So now I just need to uh, chamfer the edges a little bit. Give it a good wash and uh, next episode I'm uh, going to put it back together. So thanks again for watching, subscribe, comment, thumbs up and see you next time. Bye! <laughs>